A sight that brewers have long been waiting for. Hundreds of people enjoying a beer on a warm summer's evening. The easing of lockdown restrictions has allowed events like this craft beer festival in Bristol to go ahead and provided a huge boost to a struggling industry. Big events like this will be have 4,000 people or so over the weekend. Uh, it's great. It's great to be back with people. Um, yeah, beer, food, it's about bringing people together. And, you know, our, a festival does that on a much larger scale than a, maybe a pub or a restaurant. But just being around people is, is the heart of what this is all about. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The pandemic has had a devastating impact on all aspects of the pub trade. As premises were forced to close their doors, those supplying them saw years of hard work evaporate in just a few weeks. We had to go into full survival mode and majority of our sales is draft to pub customers. Um, so obviously pub shut and we had a bit of a struggle kind of keeping things afloat. But luckily we had loads of loyal kind of off trade um, basically suppliers and customers that kind of kept us afloat and allowed us to kind of emerge on the right side of things. With beer sales dramatically up on last year's record lows, there's now another challenge. Proposed changes to the so-called small breweries relief might see just over 150 companies having to pay more tax. It's incredibly difficult for small breweries. I mean, not only with regards to access to pubs, so getting your beer into pubs, which is you know largely controlled by large pub companies and by the global brewers. Also, you know, getting beer into supermarkets. Most of the beer in supermarkets is from the global brewers. So it's incredibly difficult. And actually, small brewers relief was was a part of that. It was to give small breweries a chance to compete with global rivals, um, help them invest in the business, help them get those beers uh, into the market. The Treasury hasn't confirmed if or when the changes might happen but there are fears for the future. One study found that 83% of independent breweries produced less beer last year because of the pandemic. And after a promising few months after lockdown restrictions were lifted, for many, there are now more questions than answers about the long-term future of Britain's smaller breweries.